Hello, hello everyone. Monique here. Welcome to today's video. I have Cicely's newest foundation that I'm going to share with you today. This is the Fito Tint Perfection. This is said to be a medium to full coverage foundation with skin nourishing ingredients. So today I'm going to share with you a full day wear test. I'm going to share the details. And while I was on the website, I picked up a few other Cicely products. So we'll just go ahead and make it a full face of Cicely. Let's hydrate and begin. So let's start off with details. Right here on the back of the packaging, it says ultra long lasting skincare foundation, oil free. Packaging is of glass material. We have a nice palm. Here we have one fluid ounce or 30 mLs. And for this one, based on the swatches and the model, I actually picked up the shade 5C. Usually, I wear the shade 4W in a lot of my other Sisley foundations. Again, based on the swatches and the model, I shifted towards this shade. So hopefully, that was a smart choice, but we'll see. So she said to give you the perfect complexion today and then the perfect skin tomorrow. So because it's Sicily, we know they love skincare. They always include skincare in their makeup, which I think is get your bang for your buck. Hello. <laughs> You're going to be wearing your makeup anyways all day. Might as well include some skincare with it. I mean, on top of the skincare you're already using. So the more the merrier kind of gig. But that's pretty much what they mean by that because it's got all of the skincare in there and the makeup, multifunctional products. We love that. So far, I'm liking the sound of it. Yes? Okay. So skincare and makeup as one. The Fito Tint Perfection is a high coverage mattifying foundation powered by the Ideal Skin Complex to improve the look of skin's quality with each application. Instantly, skin's texture looks smooth and refined. With each application, the skin appears plumped and imperfections are less visible. Fito Tint Perfection Foundation gives a naturally radiant matte finish with ultra long lasting transfer proof formula has an undetectable texture for flawless skin and day-long comfort, offering medium to high buildable coverage with no cakey effect. Fetal Tint Perfection visibly blurs imperfections and minimizes pores. The complexion appears enhanced and more even. In a word, perfect. <laughs> Let me quickly share with you the other products that I picked up. It's not a lot. I just picked up a few things while I was picking up the foundation. Um, Sisley is a brand I've used for many years. I've used skincare, makeup. I use the hair care. That is my current hair care routine products. So I'm quite familiar with the brand and every so often I'll pick up things and try them out. So these are things I have not yet tried. So I picked up two of their Fito Eye Twist, it's pretty much like their eye crayons, eyeshadow sticks, and I picked up another <laughs> lipstick. I'm not sure if this is going to go with the look today, because I don't know which direction we're going to head in, um, but I picked this up, so yeah. So the Fito Eye Twists are said to be long-lasting, waterproof eyeshadows, and they look like this. So I picked up the shade number 19. It's like a champagne kind of color. Ooh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. I'm, I was just looking for something for like an easy one and done quick. And then the other one, number 15, one of my favorite colors, <laughs> baby pink. So baby pink and sunset. So this is sunset and then the baby pink. They're nice and creamy. I have not tried these. I have tried um, Cicely's eyeshadows. The singles, love, use those all the time. Um, but I haven't tried these, so we got that. And then I picked up another one of my favorite formulas for their lipsticks. This is the Fito, the Le Fito Rouge. This is, I think, a limited edition one. Um, Long lasting hydration in the shade number 16, beige, beijing. And this one comes in the red little sleeve. Look at that. That's so pretty. Here, let me show you the details before I swatch it and ruin it. This lipstick is very creamy, very comfortable, wears beautifully. My favorite <laughs> is Beige Tahiti. This one comes in like the regular packaging. It's this color. It's like an everyday easy nude. So I just thought this color looked fun. I'm not sure how it's going to go with the look today, but we will see. We may or may not use it. Ooh. 
It's pretty. Yay. Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome to my skin. 39 combination skin. I have a pretty dry to normal outer perimeter. And then the nose is pretty much where it gets the most shiny and most of my oil. So true combination skin. She does her own thing, all of that. Darkness, freckles. I got a nice little spot right here. So it's currently 7.51 a.m. It's nice and early. I want to give this a full day, put it to the test all day. Wear test. So far, all I've done is my normal skincare routine. And let me tell you, skincare is so important when you want your foundations to look and wear really, really well. That's like the best tip I can give to you. So normal skincare routine for me in the mornings includes my Common Air Ceramide Serum. This stuff is so good. I love it so much. Followed up with my Augustinus Butter, the Rich Cream. This is one of the best products I've ever used. Finish it off with sunscreen. No matter what, no matter the day, sunscreen. This one in particular is from Shantikai. So normal skincare products, normal skincare morning routine. I am going to go in with some primer. This is Sisley's Double Tensio. This is been my primer, I wanna say for three years now. I love this, my most repurchased product. It is amazing. This is like the best. It's skincare. It's a makeup primer that does add tack. A little bit of a tackiness to your skin. So your foundation is going to stay in place. Plus this foundation says that it's transfer proof. So we will see. Because when I get a little oily on the nose, that's where my foundation will go first. So I'm gonna be keeping a close eye there for if we get any, you know, moving, separating, anything. So double tints you applied. Let's get perfected. Perfection. Cicely said it. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Wait, shake first. I always shake. I forgot. All right. So here is... So here is texture and consistency. Ooh. Feels really nice. It's not heavy feeling. And yeah, this is nice coverage. You can just see that. That is nice coverage, I will tell you. Ooh. All right, so let's try one side with a brush. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss um, F4. That's the foundation brush. And I recently was on Cosbar. I love that site. It's one of my favorite store. So I picked up these sponges. Got two of them, like a smaller one and a bigger one. So I'll do one side brush, one side sponge. And I am going to also just use my hands on one section too, because Sisley's makeup, it's so easy to put with the hands, but I know not everybody likes to do that. So I want to share all of the options, you know? I am applying my Nutritive Lip Balm. This is a Sisley product as well. I'm going to pick up the product on the back of my hand with the sponge. And let's start with the sponge slide. Obviously the sponge application is gonna be lighter in coverage. Wow, that went on really quick, cause this sponge, it's pretty big. It takes up a good amount of space. So this side, that was one quick layer. So here is one layer with the sponge on. I do like the finish. It feels very lightweight. Picking up some more products and let's build. Oh, covered up my spot, so that's a good thing. Coverage. All right, so here is the second layer built up with the sponge. It feels really light. It feels very light on the skin, very comfortable. I can't even feel it. I will say it's very nice coverage. So you still see my freckles and stuff over here. Obviously we haven't done concealer yet, don't look. <laughs> but the skin, it's evened, it's smooth, but it still looks like skin. Going in. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's really pretty on the skin. Wow. I'm just stippling. I don't like to drag product on the face. It's applying really nicely. Coverage and finish is very, very pretty. I'll just say that it's very skin-like. It's very light and comfortable already. Wow. It just melds and blends into the skin very, very nicely. Obviously with the brush, you're gonna get a bit more because brushes give more coverage versus the sponge that kind of takes away some of your product. Wow. So sponge and brush. I think it's really just gonna be personal preference <laughs> between the two, which one you like, because I think both of them look good. Obviously sponge is just gonna eat a little bit more of your product, but looks nice look at that okay now just for the sake of trying all different methods of application i'm going to take a little bit on my fingers and let's do hand application on the forehead my forehead is so dry like let me get by the mic sounds like sand it's so dry <laughs> so this is supposed to hydrate so oh, it feels pretty nice. My skin just looks like skin. That is amazing. I really like that. I will say it feels extremely comfortable, very light. I can touch it right now and I don't have like it all over my hands. It feels very nice on the skin, definitely. This does not look like foundation on the skin. <laughs> I will say that it's a true mattified finish, but not dry mattified. So let's finish up the look. I am gonna go in with my Sizzly concealers. I do mix two colors. I mix four and five. I am gonna go in with the Cilo Lumiere. This is more of a highlighting product. I do use this on my no makeup days on my under eye. But this is a true mo cocktail. <laughs> you know I love to mix my products. I'm gonna set my under eyes and my entire face with a very, very light, light layer of the Sicily Loose Powder. It's in the shade number four. Again, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. This, this is an Hermes brush. Can you believe it? I finally found a soft Hermes brush that I can actually even use on my under eye. It's that soft. There was just something about the way they were cutting the bristles. But this one, but this one is just so soft and nice. So here's everything all set. I'm gonna go in with my Sizzly bronzer. Where's my brush? It does have a bit of a glowy finish to it, but you just look healthy. <laughs> it's time for blush. I'm gonna go in with the Fito Twist. So what I do is I just apply it on my hand. See how bright and crazy that is? Yes. And then I'm just gonna use the foundation brush to pick it up. And yes, we're going over a set product with cream. And then I'll go over top with the powder form of that same blush. It's the Le Fito Blush in Fuchsia. That might be a little too much. Ah! And for the finishing touch, I love this as highlight. So I'm just kind of focusing on the lighter portion over here. And that's where I'm getting my highlight from. All right, so I'm going with Sunset. I'm just gonna put that all over. The idea of this for me is I'm just going to be able to use my finger and go about my merry business, you know? One and done, easy makeup. Okay. Grabbing a clean brush, blend the edges. Nice, seamless. Yeah love stuff like this because it makes life really easy when you want to really just pull yourself together but you don't have the time <laughs> and even when you do you like easy products I'd be curious to see how this wears all day 
a couple years ago, I think, at this point, Sisley came out with a liquid eyeshadow, and I ripped that thing to shreds because it was awful. So I, and a lot of people didn't like me for it. Because, you know, when the masses say it's good, you're supposed to believe everybody. And here comes Mo giving her unpopular opinion, not falling in line, and now I'm the bad guy. But we will see how this wears. Nice. And then you know what we'll do? We'll go in with the baby pink, right? On the inner corner. Okay. Doesn't look baby pink on me. It looks just super light. Like that. Nice and easy. Going with Cold Star. This is in the matte number two. It's just a brown shade. Nice and creamy. Look at the foundation. Nice. Okay. Sisley So Stretch Mascara. Do a couple of coats of this. This is in a brown shade. Which is brown shades of mascara I love for the everyday. I have been reaching for my Hermes mascara and this is in a brown shade as well. I like browns for like every day. Black is fine too, obviously, but brown is just like a little bit softer. This is a really great mascara. I really enjoy Sisley makeup, okay? And I have an entire playlist. If you want more details on any particular products, I've done foundations, I've done the powders, I've done a whole entire brand overview. Or you can just search on my channel for Sisley, or you can search YouTube as a whole Sisley and then put in my name, Mo Makeup Mo Beauty. Now let's try beige, beige, beijing. This is gonna be a fun color. All right, here is our finished look. I have to say I am feeling very extremely comfortable. I really don't feel like I'm wearing makeup and as I'm touching it, it's not sticky. It's not all over my hands. It'll be interesting when I hug my husband, you know, if anything gets on him. <laughs> Ended up changing my lip. <laughs> I switched it over to this. This was actually a gift with purchase when I made the order. Um, it's a Fito Lip Twist in the shade number 19. It's cute, right? It's like a pinky nude. Those are definitely my kind of go-to colors. Um, I do like the lipstick, but I don't know. I feel like it doesn't go with my outfit, my mood. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get my day started. I'll check in in a few hours, and we will see how the new Sicily Fito Tint Perfection holds up and wears throughout the day. So I'll see you in a little bit. I am outside in natural sunlight, like sort of, kind of. It's really cloudy, but natural lighting. See, this is what I mean. It's light out, but it's super cloudy, like everywhere. <laughs> Here is how everything is looking. Side, this side, forehead. I tell you, it's still so comfortable. I can't, I can't. I can't believe it, but I can because it's Sicily. Sicily is known to have skincare first and then makeup, and this is just, yeah. So it's still feeling really good. I like how it looks on the skin. Very comfortable. It's got me feeling pretty confident today. <laughs> so, so far so good. I will check in again in a few more hours. Hello. So we're here with a check-in. What's the time? Check. What time is it? 11.41. All right, so we're at 11.41, and I've got the man of the hour who is going to give us his humble opinion, which <laughs> you guys love so much because he does not hold back. So, sir, <laughs> we're trying a new foundation today. Very nice. Okay. I like it. Whoa! Yeah. He's not ripping this one apart, so it no. must be good. No, this one's, <laughs> act, this one's very nice. I will say it still feels really, really good. I think it still looks really good. And I love that it's skin-like. I mean, a little tad shiny on the nose, but that's to be expected. It's me. It's my skin type. But... Feeling good. Ah. Okay. So, Hubs approves. We'll take it. Hi. So, it's currently 3.31. Here we are. My hair's getting a little frizzy. I don't know why. 
because it's a little cool out today. What is it? 65? Not too bad. But any hoots. Here is how everything is looking. I will say it still feels amazing. Amazing. Hands down. This is like one of the most comfortable foundations overall. Very, very happy with that. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little shiny, but not too bad. Still very nice and pretty. Very, don't feel too bad about the, the, the glow, the natural glow that's coming through. Um, but yeah, quick check-in. There we go. All right, I'll see you again in a few hours. Hello, good evening, good day, hello. <laughs> yeah. So it is currently 7.23 p.m. And here we are. I'm going to refresh my lip, okay, because I need to be presentable. <laughs> we weren't testing lip product. All right, hair is out of the face so we can see everything. So, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my face at the end of the day. Um, feel a little shiny. We'll touch up and see how it kind of looks if it can come back to life, if we can kind of zhuzh it up and see. Um, because realistically, I probably would have touched up, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kind of just leave it alone and see. But any hoots, here we are. All right, so this is the side we use the brush, right? Yeah, the brush was this side. I think it held up pretty good. This is the side we use the sponge. And on the forehead, we use the good old tools that never leave you, the fingers. <laughs> so here's how everything looks. I can't say I'm loving how it looks right now, um, but I'm pretty sure after I powder, I'll feel better about it. But this is the point of wear tests. I wanna wear it with you. I wanna share it all with you. Even when I personally don't feel it looks the best. <laughs> but. Gotta share the good, the bad, and in, in between with you, right? <laughs> I will say that the eyeshadow sticks, the, which one was it? The uh, sunset shade, the one on the lid. I mean, I have uh, heavy creases in my eyes. It's normal. Um, I think it held up pretty good. I will say though that the light pink that I did apply on the inner corner kind of sort of faded but it still looks decent. So these I give a pass. These I like, I'll, I'll keep using these, really like them. So let's do a quick retouch, very light layer with the powder, just to see if we can refresh. And if it's something that when we powder it throughout the day, if it'll still hold up and look good, you know? So very light layers is what we're gonna do. Okay, we brought it back to life. <laughs> Took down the shine nicely, especially on the nose, because that's really where I get the most. <laughs> but I mean, you can see here on the cheek, I got a little shiny too. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, you could definitely revive this with powder and it'll still carry on and you can continue wearing. Mm-hmm. That's good. Something to note. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. Claims versus reality. And then I'll share my thoughts because I've got a few and you know this. <laughs> so it claims to hydrate the skin immediately and intensely. I will say my skin felt very comfortable, but not heavy in any way. When I first put this on, it felt so good on the skin, like so good. And it feels still good. Now, seven o'clock at night. Ultra long wearing transfer proof with an undetectable texture. You saw <laughs> towards the end of the day, I think it started to kind of look a little makeup-y. I'm not gonna say it was cakey, but I think because I started to get oily and a little bit shiny, it started to look a little much. It started to look like there was makeup on the face. So I think that that is true to an extent. Because when you first apply it, the first, to be fair, I'll say the first four to six hours, it looks really good. I mean, that's a heavy claim, but I'm kind of like, mm, not really. <laughs> I want to talk about the coverage because it says it's medium to high buildable. Um, I'm an 
to stick to a good, true, high and medium coverage. I don't want to claim any sizzly foundation as full coverage because they're just not. They're really not. I feel like because Sisley focuses so much on your skin's health and integrity, it's never going to be a full mask-like effect. It's going to give you decent coverage, but it's not going to give you full-on mask, full coverage. I, I am not getting that with this, no. But it's very, very, very good coverage, very beautiful coverage. Um, a realistic type of coverage and I will say that it's pretty on par with the name. This is definitely a perfecting type of foundation from Sisley. Yeah. And that is that about the new Sisley Fito Tint Perfection. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. I hope you found today's video helpful. I try my best to share as much information as possible and take you through the whole entire day, make it a whole entire experience for you so that it helps you if you are interested in the foundation. So you can really get a real, you know, real world, real, you know, of all the things all about it. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.